Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here. And today, uh, it's a fairly nice morning, but they're calling for rain all day, so I thought I better get out here super early this morning and uh, get my flight in. It has been a little while since I've flown because I've been super busy and the weather hasn't been the greatest every day. So I've kind of, I've taken a small short break from flying, but I'm back out here today and hopefully we can get several days in a row now. Um, super excited to have the Aeros F4U today. I love this little airplane. It flies really good. It can be a little tricky on the takeoff and landing, but when it's in the air, man, it looks so good. Let's get this thing in the air and see how I can do. All right, guys, everything is right. We'll go one click on the flaps. And uh, there's, an, I guess there's a slight breeze coming from that way. So let's spin it around. Throttle cut off. We should be able to get it in there pretty fast. You want to ease into it, so I don't have a lot of room here to ease in, but you want to ease in. That way it doesn't turn left hard on you. Let's do it. A little bit of up elevator. Not too bad. You can see that even when it went into the air, it was turning left just a little bit. Flaps going up, and as I come back around and get it level, we'll put the gear up. There it goes. Now the gear's tucked away. I do not have safe turned on. It was super sunny first thing this morning and then the clouds rolled in. And that's why I think for sure we're going to get that rain yet today. I need to mow my grass. So that's the next thing on my to-do list today is to get out and mow the grass she looks good today man she is i love flying when there's almost no wind it is so amazing how much better these airplanes fly um it just looks smooth and that's that's got a lot to do with how little wind we have and sometime i'm out here and it might not show up as much on video but these airplanes look like they're shaking to me. And uh, I do my best to control them and smooth it out as much as I can with the controls, but just a smooth flight is not possible to make it look like that when it's windy out. And get it up over the lamp post here. There we go, sinking in for a nice low pass again. Actually, that was a mid-low pass. Here we are, about a third on the throttle. Just a nice, casual. Most of the flight has been at the half to three-quarters throttle. This is a 3S airplane. Flying on a 2200 milliamp hour battery. I don't think it's necessary, but I it, the pack that I'm using is a 50C pack. And it's a pretty old um, Ovonic battery that I picked up off of Amazon. It's, and it's actually, it's really old from back when I was flying a lot of flight test planes. And so it's actually done really good as far as how long it has lasted. up into a loop coming out nice and easy with a roll Oh, let's roll it to a turn nice I don't usually roll that way it's more comfortable to roll the other way to roll to the right and then turn that way it's so much easier for me there's something about pushing and pulling on the sticks that the pulling to the right on the stick with my hand is so much more comfortable than trying to push it towards the other hand. So the left roll, when I'm 
making it turn left like that doesn't feel as comfortable to me but you get more comfortable with this but when you're trying to do something like a full roll to uh, when you're doing a maneuver it doesn't feel quite the same but funny thing is is when you're trying to do like a knife edge it does actually feel a little better so I don't know I guess it's just it's basic um, to that maneuver if it feels more comfortable or not because I definitely feel more comfortable with knife edge from right to left which most of my airplanes require me to hold a little bit of left aileron to keep the wings straight So we haven't done a full speed pass. Let's take it down to the right side and bring it the other way really fast. Here we go, line this thing up. Here we go, full speed. Not super fast, it is a 3S. Uh, I think these are 1100 millimeter wingspan airplanes. So they're not super fast. It's not like a big 6S Warbird. That E-Flight Mustang, man, it can get going if you want it to. All right, getting too close to the lamp post. It's funny how there's no wind and I'm drifting over that way. <laughs> All right, it's starting to give me the time for landing. And uh, if we're gonna land the same way we took off, I need to land left to right, but we'll do a gear pass on this next round. So let's get it down here a little ways. And dropping the gear. And sure enough, they're both down. And we'll do one click on the flaps. Right now, did not balloon up, that's a good thing. Here we go, out of the throttle, letting the nose drop, and I am really happy with that landing, but it was like two feet in front of me, and you guys probably didn't get to see it, so, uh, we're going to take off, bring it around, and try to mimic that same landing again, and of course the sun's going to pop out of the clouds here. Give myself just a little more room for the takeoff this time so I can try to make a nice smooth. I'm going to back up to try and give myself a little more room to get the landing in front of me. Here we go. Easing into that throttle. A little bit of up elevator. A little right rudder. Nice easy takeoff. And of course, because I was too slow, it wanted to stall to the left instead of torque to the left. Here we go easing out of the throttle letting the nose drop and of course it's way down there and we get a bounce let's go around even on so that was one thing i always don't think about i think about it on takeoff but on touch and goes i'll try to hit that throttle really fast and you got to remember even on those you got to ease back into it or it'll do that torque not so bad there was a couple bounces but that's that's so embarrassing hopefully you guys got to see that first landing because it was perfect um, but we're on the ground and we're gonna stick it there because if I keep going I'm sure to make a really bad mistake and uh, we don't want that I love this airplane it's the arrows f for you and uh, it's a really nice airplane so guys, I'm super happy to be out here this Saturday morning getting a flight in with the Aeros F4U. Man, this thing flew so nice today, man. With no wind, it just was so graceful looking. And I was flying in high rates. Felt really good. And um, like I said earlier, I still, being a small warbird, they can be a little tricky on the takeoffs and landings. They want to, uh, the torque of the motor wants to make them turn. And... Really, the truth is, all the warbirds, all the tail dragger warbirds, 
Uh, even the 6S E-Flight P51, it torques to the left. They're all that way. And, um, but the smaller ones are, can be really hard to recover from. So if you guys get one of these, just know that you got to ease into that throttle on the takeoff and then just be patient on those landings. A uh, little bit of power. Don't let it, don't let it stop like I did there, those last two landings and bounce. But if you can fly it down to the ground and then flare right at the last second, that's exactly what you want to do. And, uh, man, I love this airplane. And uh, big thanks to the Lord for, it, it's really a really nice morning for us, even though it's cloudy. It is so nice out, very comfortable. And it's been, a, as far as temperatures go, it's been a beautiful week. And um, anyways, big thanks to all you guys for supporting the channel. I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. And uh, until next time. I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here.